Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to show you the best travel outfits for comfortable airplane rides. For a long haul flight, you need travel outfits that can move with you, bend with you, and not cling. Do not miss all of the travel outfit tips I'm going to be giving you throughout this video. When you are flying in an airplane, you need comfortable clothing, be it pants for the flight, um, versatile outfits that you can wear while you're on vacation. So I'm going to give you ideas. And these are actual travel outfits I have worn in airports. My travel style is mostly casual, but I also want to look pulled together but also be very comfortable. So one of the most popular items to wear are joggers. You can find them anywhere. My favorites are from Loft, and I finally got a pair of navy ones for my trip to Europe. These are my older pair. I don't know if the gray ones are still available, but they do have black ones. And I'm 5'8", wear a size 10, and their mediums are great for me. They do not wrinkle. With the deep blue color one, I would wear a sleeveless shirt. And these are outfits that I also wear during the day, shopping, running errands. But these are my favorite shirts because they drape your body for while you're in the airplane. They flatter and drape your body without clinging. I have like eight of them. You can also wear joggers with a little short sleeve shirt like this. These shirts are great because I can wear them as a travel outfit piece, but I can also wear them into a restaurant and look dressy enough. Here's the black. I have a long sleeve shirt that I wore yesterday that's in my laundry basket. Here's my other long sleeve shirt that I have of this style. They just, see how they just... They're a t-shirt, but they don't look like a t-shirt when you wear them. Okay, okay, you get to hear about these pants before my Instagram audience does. This is from a company that I have never even heard of, and they are now my favorite travel outfit for the airplane in summer. They're a rayon blend, and they fit beautifully. They do not cling which is especially good for an airplane seat. And they come in so many colors. They have an elastic waistband. I can wear them with slip-on sneakers in the airplane and sandals when I get to my destination. For my recent YouTube event that I had in Los Angeles, they invited me for a little meeting. I did wear my waterproof running shoes. These are old and they also still have uh, others available. However, this is what I added because they're more like a trail tennis shoe to me but I added my own shoe insert and these are like these have a very high arch if I'm going touring all day I probably won't take that one I'll probably take this one it's like ten dollars less and these you cut this power step brand you they tell you how to um, discover your own size but this is a great travel hack if you want to wear an outfit or wear shoes while you're traveling and also be comfortable but not have to buy brand new shoes my number one travel tip to fit your travel outfits in carry-on suitcase only is to only pack one pair of pants I know that is very, very hard for most passengers. However, I'm going on a river cruise, and so one of my travel outfit pieces would be stretchy pants because I'm going to be eating lots of croissants and wine and pizza crust, baguettes. The Wit & Wisdom jeans are fantastic. These are their pants, and their waistband is stretchy, okay? But so are the legs of it, and I really like this style because it has this little cutout part right here that has a, be a little kick crop look instead of looking like capris. And like I said, I'm 5'8 and 10-ish before the river cruise. <laughs> One travel tip is that the color gray is very versatile. So I can wear this as my travel outfit in the airport, inside the airplane, and be totally comfortable and put together, but also wear it with a t-shirt. I can wear it with a sweater. I can wear it with this striped sweater that is navy blue, or I can wear it with pink or black even. With my gray pants, I can wear this blush color of sneaker that is water resistant. And I know they're water resistant because I've worn the green pair, which is not available anymore, um, several times in rain during vacation. Those are comfortable and blush in the summer will blend with my skin tone. So that's why I chose that color. 
it elongates your leg. Like if you're wearing navy blue shorts, my tip is to not wear navy blue shoes because it cuts the length or the mathematical dimension of the length of your legs. So neutral tones that are skin tone um, elongate your leg if you care about that. The most important tip is to be comfortable and to be content in however you look. We are doing this for us. I like expressing myself through fashion. So it's a way that I can show my creativity or my relaxedness. <laughs> While we're speaking about neutral, I do love these bracelets because they are the neutral and I can make them even more casual and just wear those. They're stretchy, which is great for travel. For Cabo San Lucas, I had the more tropical style ones, which I highly recommend. They're all on the same link. Another travel outfit that I just got this year are these aqua pants. They're jeans, but they are stretchy. Their waistband is stretchy and the legs are stretchy and they're cropped, but they do not have like the little kick out thing. Green is a neutral. On vacation to Los Angeles, I wore it with this. This sweater, this navy blue and cream sweater, and I have one from December that I wore in and two, Belgium. This is a great layering piece for your airplane. For the airplane outfit, it can be cold, it can be hot. So my tip is to wear a short sleeve shirt and then have a sweater and one sweater idea besides those is cashmere sweater. It's going to pop up down here as many of my links will if I can link them up and you can see those but the links will also be in the first comment for you and in the description paragraph. Cashmere, you want to be able to wear it alone just like these sweaters which are cotton um, but you can also layer them and my travel hack is to pack cashmere sweaters even in the summer because they are so effective at keeping you really warm without adding bulk to a carry-on suitcase or a tote bag or a personal item bag. I do also wear my Wit & Wisdom regular blue jeans a lot when I travel as my airport outfit, but look how good this aqua goes with navy blue, even with black. I love pairing bright colors with a deep, dark color. Now I want you to think with me. Here are my outfit ideas for LAX, okay, Los Angeles. Look through all of these pieces and see, okay, these are all of the outfits that she wants to wear. Which one would you pull out for the airplane? All right, now look at the ones for my river cruise. You can see that I was planning on wearing the sleeveless. I had some sandals in there. I had some short sleeve shirts with some outer layers, but that's before I checked the weather. Along our river cruise, the weather was going to be freezing cold, like 37 degrees when we landed and maybe the mid sixties by the end of the week. And the travel tip is what outfit looks comfortable for inside the airplane. These are another pair of shoes that are the Echo brand and I just stick my little bitty uh, cheap insert down in that because they're fine or I can stick my other ones in there but these Echo are always sneaker based so they are very supportive and comfortable for walking all day or touring in Europe and this shoe is kind of European to me, um, but it is also a neutral color that I can wear with pants, joggers, or blue jeans. Here's a travel hack for your jewelry after I show you these necklaces. This one I wore to Cabo San Lucas, and this one I seem to only wear during the day, but I wanted to choose uh, jewelry or necklaces like this and bracelets that were really lightweight. And these are like paper thin, but can be worn and versatile for many travel outfits, as well as the ones you wear during your vacation. If you like a layering piece, this is one I've had for a while as well. I'm just talking about for the airplane. And one travel tip for going through airport security is that most of the jewelry in the United States does not make an alarm go off and where they have to pull you out of line and look at that jewelry. But when in doubt, take it off and don't even put on your jewelry until after airport security. Like in your house, you're going to have your jewelry in a little baggie or in a little container like these 
And then after security, that's when you'll put your belt on or your jewelry on if you're worried about it, but it would only delay you like maybe five minutes, okay? It's not bad if the alarm goes off. Here's a travel hack that I use a lot during long flights or all night flights. If I'm going to maybe try to sleep over an all night long haul flight, I'm not going to wear bulky earrings or any earrings really. I'm going to wait until the end of the trip. And one thing I thought of is using these little baggies that you get like 35 of them and having your little earrings in your end of the flight pouch or your airplane pouch for the seat. And then another thing that I've done is I've packed in this little tin and I have I keep some earrings in here for vacation, but also that's where I would put my toothpaste tablets for the end of a flight. One old travel hack is to put your long necklaces on the sticky like cling wrap, the sticky one, and then fold it over and that helps them not detangle. Here's another t-shirt that's great for the airplane because it's a t-shirt that hangs like it does not drape your body. It is just a square boxy cut t-shirt, which I like to wear at the end of my vacation when I'm just uh, a little bulky <laughs> and boxy. <laughs> but here's another one. This one's from Loft. I just love that purple color. Um, and it is also boxy and just hangs straight. But the reason I like this one for travel inside the airplane is because it is long enough. So it's the size medium, but it's long enough. So I felt comfortable with it. And I wore it with my aqua jeans with this super cute necklace I forgot to bring out here. One travel tip I learned early on as a pilot's wife, I wore a skirt, which I'll never do again, but I also wore sandals inside the airplane during the summer and my feet and my legs absolutely froze and my legs started sweating and the little pleather from the airplane seat is just gross because you have sweat or something. I have a free printable for you, mainly for inspiration, but it has a list of tops that you could wear as part of your travel outfit and then on vacation as well. You can find that link in the first comment. For a long flight, I love compression socks. If we are flying standby, we have a dress code, which means we cannot wear leggings as pants. Like I would have to wear a dress over those leggings. The compression socks are fantastic. They're like business socks and they don't come in blue. So what I'm going to do for my long flight is I'm going to take them in my personal item bag and then put them on when I get to the seat or just wear them and nobody's gonna care. <laughs> if you are traveling in the dead of summer, one travel tip is to pack your cashmere sweater or your hoodie, pack it in a compression cube with some undies and a pair of socks and maybe one more t-shirt in case your suitcase gets lost. And then you're going to have that in the base of your personal item bag. And then if you really do not need it, it will not take up a whole lot of extra space because it's compressed the air between those items. Another travel hack is to wear, if you are tight on space, is to wear your heavier, bulkier items around your waist or over your shirt. And then when you get inside the airplane, you're gonna pull out a trash bag that is in your pocket or in the pocket of your suitcase or your, your personal item bag, and then stuff that sweater or those two sweaters or two sweatshirts inside the bag and just throw them on top of your suitcase in the overhead bins or just stuff them above or beside your personal item bag underneath the airplane seat. All right, I hope these travel outfit ideas helped you choose a comfortable airport style for your next flight. Thanks for your time. Tell me who you are and where you're going if we haven't met yet.